This crowd of neighbors who live on and around Mays Road were ready to fight tooth and nail Thursday evening. That is until this happened. Uh, the city has elected to remove the chicanes on Mays Road as well. After the applause died down, neighbors could finally breathe a big sigh of relief, knowing their year and a half long fight to convince the city of Columbus to get rid of these traffic calming devices known as chicanes is over. And in an instant, neighbors who were demanding action just a week ago. I want these things gone. They're terrible. They're ridiculous. Anybody can see this is a problem. Now, why can't the city see this? Got the answers they were looking for. Thank God. I'm tickled pink. I'm ready for a party. That's awesome. It is so awesome. The city finally listened to us. The city says they are removing the chicanes in part because of the lack of public support and say had they known the concrete islands would get this reception, they wouldn't have been installed in the first place. The city also says it will cost significantly less to remove the chicanes than to make some $100,000 worth of modifications to them, such as adding solar light reflectors and shrubs. Just last month, the city agreed to remove chicanes on Norris Drive, but remained steadfast on keeping those on Mays Road. And last week, the city canceled a presentation where they were to address concerns. Just hours later, this accident occurred after this SUV hit a chicane. The city's sudden about face Thursday caught many off guard. I wasn't expecting this to happen. We were proceeding with with our documents uh, that we were preparing for council to continue the fight. So this is amazing. And it shows what a community can do when we work together. After this, those who live here have just one more hope. And I hope nobody gets hurt between now and then. That's what I hope.